Hello, citizens. Today we are going to read a book called Obeying Laws, part of the Being an Active Citizen nonfiction text series by Vincent Alexander. Here's our table of contents. We're going to jump right in to chapter one, Laws Protect Us. Laws are rules the government makes. The government enforces them too. We must obey laws. So the word enforce means to make sure someone obeys and obey is a sparkly word for follow. Why is this important? Well, laws protect us. They help keep peace and order. Obeying laws makes us active citizens. That means we're doing our part when we are active citizens. Here is the U.S. Capitol where laws are made. How do laws protect us? We must wear seat belts. Children can't have dangerous jobs. Factories can't dump waste into lakes. Did you know? How many laws do we have? No one knows. Congress has been making laws for more than 225 years. It passes about 125 new laws each year. And here is a lady wearing her seat belt, following the law. Federal laws apply to everyone in the country, even to people who are visiting from other countries. For example, it is illegal to discriminate against people based on their race. This is a federal law. And at any moment, if you want to pause the video, fast forward, you can sneak a peek at the glossary at the end of this video to figure out what those sparkly words mean. There are state laws too. What might be legal in one state could be illegal in another, but state laws can't go against federal laws. Take a look. Laws about the same thing can be different from state to state. An example is motorcycle helmet laws. What is the law where you live? Here's North Carolina, where the color blue, so our map key says, everyone must wear a motorcycle helmet. And here are some silly sounding laws. In Alabama, it is against the law to train a bear to wrestle. In New Hampshire, it is against the law to collect seaweed at night. Children cannot play pinball machines in South Carolina. Chapter two, our rights. Do laws only ban behaviors? No, laws also protect our rights. These include the freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press. Another is the right to protest. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. marched in the 1960s. For what? Civil rights. In the early 1900s, women marched for the right to vote. These protests help change laws. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As our values change, our laws change. How? Lawmakers learn what is important to us. A bill is introduced to Congress. It is voted on, and if it passes, the bill goes to the president. The president can sign it into a new law. What do you think? Our rights include the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. How do you think our laws make that happen? President Trump and an actual law. Chapter three, enforcing and obeying. Laws only work if we enforce them. How are laws enforced? Police officers work in our communities. They help keep peace. They can arrest people who break laws. The lawbreakers may receive punishments. Why? So they don't break laws again. Think about the laws you follow every day. Do you keep your dog on a leash during walks? Do you use crosswalks to cross the street? Do you put your garbage into trash cans? All of those are ways that you probably follow the law every day. What do you think? Laws are similar to rules at school. What happens to students who don't obey the rules? How is this similar to people who don't obey the laws? Active citizens work to improve the lives of others. Obeying laws helps. It makes our communities better places to live. By obeying laws, we help promote peace. 